Oh, I'm a soggy boy. Cardio done. 30 minutes of cardio. Um, posing rounds, etc. all complete. Where can I stand that? That'll do. Oh, I am soaked. If you're going to do your cardio, you might as well do your freaking cardio, man. I see so many people on the cross trainer, on the stairs, on the treadmill, just trickling along, man. Like, if you're going to do something, then do it. If you're looking to burn body fat, then try and burn some. You know, I absolutely go balls to the wall for cardio. I think it's one of the reasons why I get conditioned so quick. Yeah, it's rough, but I tell you what, you do feel flipping good afterwards. Anyway, I'm going to go home. Get ready, and then I'll take you through what I'm doing today because it's a good freaking day, but it's busy, so I need to get on my shit. Let's go. It's nine o'clock. Everything is done. I have had a crazy one this morning. Had to get all check-ins done, all meals prepped, all bags packed and ready so that I could head off to Derby to see Jono for an in-person check-in because he's a couple of weeks out now. We've got a trial mock peak coming up this weekend. And I want to look at him in person and we can sit down and plan that together. And then I'm seeing Nath, so I'm going to get some footage of that. He's going to look at me, um, go over some stuff and go over what he thinks, where I'm at and, and what we're doing. So I've prepped up all my food. Um, I'll show you what I've got here. I'll show you how I get ready for when I'm traveling and what I do and how I allow time for it. And we'll get on the road. We'll get moving. The thing is, yeah. A lot of people will make excuses when they're busy for slipping up, for maybe missing things. Maybe they might fall off plan. But the reality is, if you've dedicated to do something like a prep, it's your responsibility to keep up and keep on top of things. Um, you know, no one's going to care how busy you were or how much you had on when it comes to show day. So be organized, be on point, plan ahead, prep your meals. Um, and be adaptable, you know, little things like, yeah, sure, this would be amazing to eat warm or I'd love to eat my eggs warm and, and cook them fresh. But listen, right, I don't have time. I've got stuff to do. I want to make progress. I want to run a business and I want to get shit done. And that's how you do it. Right. We're on the money. We're on the road. Car's packed. Car's full. We'll drive for a bit. We'll probably stop off when we're about maybe an hour away to eat our uh, pre so get a podcast on, get some of this drive done and um, take you along for this day of traveling and prepping. Let's get it. Oh, pit stop, pre-stop, we stop. I've been busting for a while. It's been panic stations. I was meant to stop a bit earlier, but Lewis being Lewis missed my planned uh, stop so i'm gonna stop here have a wee and um eat my premium i'll show you that I'm excited for this man is hungry this is a regular for me eating meals at service stations i am here at everywhere at the moment a bit of a blessing really to be in this position to be traveling a lot and, and seeing a lot of clients and going to a lot of different gyms um i think it makes prep more exciting i've been told a lot in the past to like try and stay in the same place and do the same thing every day but for me it just gets monotonous man like it's good for my head to get out and about so i've got my meal kept that nice and safe stashed it in a safe spot in the boot looks good that don't it to be fair look at that man Woo. unreal we'll smash that um and then it's time to train me and john i got a little bit of planning to do before we train for the weekend but um i might show you that and this, yeah, this is one of the best parts of my day. I get two snacker jacks and jam. What a combo. Caramel ones. Gone a bit soggy because I've been in a tin fall, but they're all right. You eat them in the sun, it tastes bad. Mmm. We're living. I've just put a bagel in there because I didn't want to give you loads to say, oh, yeah, 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 okay. So I've just chucked the bagel in five Yeah, it's one, yeah. Not a problem. We arrived in the gym. We've got Jono here. Jono's two weeks out, so we've just planned his load in for the weekend. We're going to put him through a push session. And then we're both going to do some posing today. 
because um, we're both in prep and see how it looks. So we will film little bits and bobs in the session, not the whole thing. We'll film some of it. level man look at that condition We on. That was a check in with Nath Dunn. Very good. He's very happy. Um, very happy. Quite surprised at how quick I've come in, which is nice when your coach gives you good feedback. For me, it's about, you know, when Nath is happy, I know I've done the job I need to do. At the end of the day, he's in charge and it's about um, setting a certain standard for him, you know, putting the work in for him and, and doing exactly what he says so he can do his job properly. So, done. I'll put a little clip on, or I have put a little clip on, I imagine, of what I look like and I was doing a little bit. So I'm going to head home now. I'll probably stop off on the way and eat. Saw Jono, that was great to see him and get a session in with Jono. Coached Jono for years, man. Years. He's been on the channel loads of times. He's a great friend of mine. Um, I'm very excited to put him on stage in a couple of weeks and support him. I might even vlog his show day. Uh, but yeah. We'll move, let's uh, get home, get some food. I've got quite a lot of steps to do. I've got some programs to do for new clients um, and lots to sort out. Quick stop off, 
Morrison's car park. Post work on that chicken and rice. Starving, so we're gonna smash this and get home because I've got a lot of steps. Let's go. Basically, my wife stuck in freaking traffic. We back. If we join you two days later. Sorry, I cut you off on the last clip, but I thought there wasn't much going on, to be honest, at the end of the last uh, last little section of the video. So rather than me just going home and showing you me eating my meals, I had some plans this weekend. I've got Rai with me. We're going to take him through a session, shoulders, arms. We're going to train. Then we're going to pose. We're going to put him some, from, through some posing rounds in the posing room, which would be good. I'll show you what he's looking like meant to be what seven weeks out did you yeah. say seven weeks out could be earlier we don't know depending on how he's looking today we're going to decide that and uh, so we'll show you that and um see how we're looking i'm not as lean as rye so we uh we may not be getting the kit off on the on the camera we'll see Food tomorrow, boy. Refeed day tomorrow for Rai. Leg day as well, so it's on his biggest day of the week. And then we got seven weeks to dial this in. Game on. So that's another YouTube episode done. I'm gonna sign this off here because I'm just finishing a big chunk of steps off. It's about four o'clock and then I'm gonna get on the drive back down south. I've spent my time in Sheffield now back up to the wife to carry on as usual so just getting the steps in preparing to make sure that i've got obviously nothing to do when i get back great day today seeing by um we're actually going to end up putting him in a show slightly earlier than what we planned to do just because he's coming at a slightly faster rate so we might as well showcase that he looks brilliant getting some more stage time and experience this year very good to see him. Been friends of Rai a very long time, so it's always nice to get together. And uh, that's another day done. This prep's just about having as much fun as possible, taking the days off, putting as much as I possibly can into each day, and just trying to get the most out of it. And so far, so good. So, uh, yeah, another day done. Home, eat, on the road, and we'll catch you next week for the next episode. Lewis's makeshift prep blocks. Have a